You know guys, I have never once on this channel told you guys that Call of Duty is finally saved or that MW 2019 Part 2 is finally fixed. But guys, I am pleased to report to you guys that after the news that has been coming out for Season 4 of MW2 and Warzone 2, that that statement is still true. Call of Duty is still not saved. Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2 still sucks balls. Warzone 2, however, for Season 4, does have some changes that we will talk about in just a second. But I hope this makes as much sense to you as it does to me. But imagine you have yourself a beautiful front yard. And for years and years and years, you've kept it so well maintained, it's been so beautiful. And then all of a sudden, for the last four years, you've just had a lot lot of garbage just tossed on it, just left out there just to exist. Just the most vile, disgusting, horrid garbage you could ever possibly imagine on your front yard and then finally somebody comes and just cleans the shit up. Are you gonna look at your front yard the same ever again? Are you gonna look at your front yard and say, oh wow, finally it's not a fucking junkyard. I have my beautiful perfect front yard again. No, you are not saying that. You're gonna look at what's left and you're gonna say, wow, what I used to have was so good. Even though there's not as much garbage as there was before, I am still annoyed and upset that it took this long to get this garbage cleaned up. And that is exactly what's happening with season four of Warzone 2. Guys, not MW2. We're not talking about multiplayer. Nothing is coming to multiplayer that is remotely looking good. We saw the roadmap for season four. It looks like the same old generic shit that we've been getting this entire year. Just a couple more quote unquote original maps that are not actually original maps whatsoever. fucking ever. But guys, over the last few days, the COD community has become as delusional as they have been before for season three. There was absolutely no hype for season four prior to this string of tweets today. And I just want to point this out very quickly. All of this comes out immediately after X Defiant tosses a bombshell of information and news about their game that has gotten a lot of people hyped up and now Call of Duty wants to speak up. Look guys, it's just an observation. I'm not saying shit, but all I know is this comes out from Modern Warzone. He says, breaking, Warzone is seeing some major gameplay changes in season four. 150 health, AI removed from strongholds, strongholds available at the start of the match, blah, 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 the rest of this shit I don't really care about because I don't play Warzone. Nope, as a matter of fact, I am a multiplayer fan. I have been a fan of multiplayer for years upon years. And by the way, Top 3% in MW 2019 Part 2 ranked play, always remember that, gooch licking moron. And very conveniently, immediately after these X Defiant tweets and these tweets about Season 4 of Warzone, Call of Duty starts tweeting out about Black Cell and advertising the ever-living shit out of it because I guess they saw a, a tiny smidge of hype and now they want to capitalize on it with Black Cell. Guys, if you buy Black Cell, you're fucking stupid. I'm sorry, there's nothing else I gotta tell you. And honestly, you're as enormous as Lizzo riding a fucking walrus being dropped on the goddamn planet, causing the mass extinction of humanity. Guys, if you're hyped for season four or you plan on buying Black Cell, do yourself a favor, just check into therapy. Th uh, there's nothing else I gotta tell you. Just get some fucking help. And aside from all these gooch lickers just constantly feeding into the hype like they always do every single season, I mean, Doug Dimmadome Warzone is also playing into this. I mean, he tweets out, Warzone feels 100 times better with the increased health. 100 times better, guys. And I guess you got to play the new Warzone map early, uh, Vondel or Vondel. But anyways, guys, listen. Doug Dimadome Warzone also comes out with this tweet because there's so many people that have been extremely hyped about this new season for Warzone. And not for MW 2019 Part 2. Let me just add that in there once again. Nobody's talking about multiplayer because there ain't shit going on in there. But when it comes to Warzone 2, a lot of people are claiming that Call of Duty and Warzone are finally saved. And we hear this every single season that people are extremely hyped and the developers are finally listening and the same shit every single season and Doug Dimadome Warzone comes out once again. I mean, this man was tweeting like crazy. He comes out and says, I know I've apologized in the past for overhyping Warzone 2. However, some people seem to think that I'm not allowed to have a positive opinion about Call of Duty or Warzone without either lying or being paid for it. Fondle is good. 
Season 4 looks good. That is my honest opinion. But guys, Doug is not done yet. He comes out again and says, Y'all are crazy if you think you're going to bully me out of sharing my honest opinion on the game just because it's positive and all you want to do is hate on COD. I've been hating for months now and I'm not about to apologize for being excited for a genuinely good update. Ladies and gentlemen, Doug Dimadome Warzone is serious. You cannot bully him. Look guys, I'm gonna say it right now. I'm uploading this the day that season four comes out. To the people that are playing right now, please tell me, is season four actually that good? I'm gonna be extremely upfront. If season four is still a pile of dog shit like I predict it to be, I'm sending Doug to the fucking gulag. I'm sorry, that, that's just, it's gonna happen, okay? What I find funny is we constantly, constantly find ourselves in this weird ass cycle where people get hyped up about the next season and it's almost always entirely because there are changes coming to Warzone and never to Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2's multiplayer. What is the reason for that? I don't know, but if people want to make the argument that the developers are finally listening, which developers are you talking about? Are you talking about Raven on Warzone? Because last I checked, the main title that we're playing this year is Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2. And if Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2 is created so that Warzone 2 could fit into the playstyle of this game, why the fuck are there differences between the health in Warzone 2 and in Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2? Is it because people finally realized, and when I say people, I mean the fucking devs, finally realized that the time to kill is way too fast? Is that what we're talking about seven months out? Because if I'm not mistaken, this is some shit that we've been talking about since the beta. Time to kill is too quick. We need red dots on the minimap, and I'm pretty sure for quite some time there were red dots on the minimap in Warzone 2, I think in Plunder or some shit like that. If the two games are supposed to be connected, and Infinity Ward is supposed to be supporting Raven software in Warzone, why is Infinity Ward's main title in the multiplayer such a heaping pile of dog crap in comparison to Warzone? Warzone 2, at least in terms of responding to the feedback that has been given for months. Call of Duty is not saved. Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2 is not saved. If you think this saves Warzone 2, perhaps you can make the argument for it. But you still gotta fix all of the underlying issues that Warzone has due to the problems that are in Modern Warfare 2 that are never being fixed. And once again, I need to tie this back into one of the main issues I have with seasonal content, guys. Let's pretend that this next season is the best season Call of Duty has had since MW 2019's launch. Let's just pretend this is an A plus S tier COD season. How many people do you actually think are playing this? In comparison to the amount of people that could have experienced this back in November. This is the issue I've always had with seasonal content is that even when you think things are finally getting good, your player base has already fallen off. Too many people have left the game and have left disappointed and a lot of these people are never coming back. You had your one shot. As a matter of fact, you had three of them with each season that you put out and every single one failed. So even if season four does come out extremely good, it doesn't even matter. I mean, check this out coming from the Ghost of Hope. He says, the state of Warzone 2 at launch versus now is insane to look at. The fact it's taken four seasons to get where it should have already been is sad. The people who think this actually looks good can even admit that it's taken way too long. And that's the goddamn truth, and that goes for multiplayer as well. Personally, based on what I've seen and my experience with Call of Duty and seasonal content in COD, Season 4 doesn't look like it's gonna be good for multiplayer whatsoever. Now you can tell me I'm wrong and I'm just hating and I haven't played it yet and I'm just hating for views or whatever the fuck you wanna say. I've been playing Call of Duty long enough to recognize this like the back of my goddamn hand. And once again, if multiplayer season actually comes out to be good, extremely good at that, but it still doesn't matter. You had seven months on top of the three years that you spent developing the multiplayer to make a good quality season and you didn't. I'm not praising Infinity Ward for anything. This game still sucks. That's why you keep on watching old gameplay. I hit my peak and ranked and I stopped playing. That's how it's been for the last two seasons. My time is extremely limited on ranked play anyways. People think I'm currently playing COD. No, I am not. And if you think season four is gonna change how often I play the game in terms of pubs, in terms of multiplayer, and especially in Warzone, you are wrong. I'm not playing any of those things. I'll play ranked play for a bit because I wanna go back to Krim, but 
that's it. And I've seen people in general just tell me, Oh, fool, you complain so much about what's wrong with COD. Why don't you talk about what you think would save COD? Here you go. Let me tell you. First of all, get rid of Infinity Ward. Get rid of Sledgehammer Games. Get rid of seasonal content. Get rid of Warzone. Go back to the same formula you had back in Black Ops 4 and every single Call of Duty before that with regular prestiging, regular minimap, Dead Silence as a perk, actual good maps that are not complete mammoth shit, no bundles, no battle pass, stop disbanding wall get rid of this stupid ass SBMM shit, and maybe, perhaps, we would have something mildly decent. We'd have a better chance that way than continuing the same shit that we've been doing since MW 2019, just worse and worse every single time you do it. Look guys, as it stands right now, I'm most likely not playing any of the new season four maps for the multiplayer. I'm probably not playing Fondle anytime soon, ever. So as far as I'm concerned, as a regular multiplayer fan, this season does nothing for me. But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think about this. Are you hyped at all for season four? Are you gonna buy the Black Cell Battle Pass? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest videos. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been the boy Fooly. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out of here. Toodles. It's been a very long time since the weekend. It's been a very long time and I